So I'm basically just cutting out sections I need. That bandsaw, super helpful. Placing them, clamping them on, heating them up, shaping them into position. Glue, clamp, repeat. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Good morning, folks. So, I have been working on this for a couple days. Uh, complicated ish and simple at the same time just kind of a pain in the ass uh, Adam Savage had did his video on his uh, raptor costume super awesome it actually made me stop building my old the first version of this guy uh, I the neck was gorgeous and it was simple and it was like oh just a lot of fiddling to get it to work like in, in premise it's easy balance and mobility and dimensions are kind of precise but you can work yourself to it because I'm not a precise worker uh, it, it's more go with the flow and then figure out what I did wrong and then fix said problem but so I have this but uh, yeah so the YouTube channel I went to take a break the other day to watch it and apparently there was some issue with uh, that it was shot for um, the VR series and it's no longer online so the issue I'm having and I had to rebuild this whole contraption is the, the it doesn't work at a, a, a low brace there's too much force on this hold. Like I have a lot of weight on my left hand holding this. And now if it's back here, you can see how, and it's not refined. Like this front plate, that is the wrong geometry from these two pieces. So my motions are wrong. And as you can see, wait, wait, nope, maybe, yeah, it's just rope string tied to a board. These plates are pretty good. This is now that PVC material and hot glue because it has to be narrow enough to give this range of motion. If it's too tight it also stints the motion. So there's I, I, I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, I kind of get annoyed when I spend too much time on things but at the same time this is the main bit that this suit will bring. Like my last suit, I had a stick underneath and the head actually pivoted and, or like hinged on itself. Like a week before the show, I made a new head completely and it was all, it articulated. It was really neat. Um, I believe I have a photo with my mom, so she'll like to be in these videos, uh, of her looking at it and you can kind of see how there's a head articulation. So the back of the head acted more like the neck, and then the face could go up and down, but then the whole thing, and since it was cardboard, it had a lot of flex, and um, it worked well for the head, but the arms all seemed too floppy. So I did do a bunch of work on this guy as well. Um, getting the framing in, I'm getting close to the point of, uh, I'll grab my stick here in a second, do a full walk around. But... <sighs> These were the arms for my other suit. But the idea is they're out in that position. And they also have a nice swing on its own where the other one's just hung dead. All right, so a lot more framing. Uh, what's kind of crap over here. But my main thing I did was the expandy foam. So I got that. And a lot of spots that are kind of key to structure. A lot of trussing. There's trussing I have now down in here for stabilization. Uh, flat parts coming up. I'm going to do, this is going to come out further and kind of slope down. Alright, so I'm going to use some of this old uh, 
Maybe he's even planking. I ain't gonna see it like news might work on it. But uh, another thing that when I was cutting these on my time lapse and cut them, I have a jig tool. So this whole thing, I don't know if you can see, but I have all these different pieces of wood that are cut down for my screws to be long enough to hold however many pieces and all my bends that I have, like the bends that were in these, it, it makes it real nice for the bends. I did the whole outer curve and a lot of other ones with this jig table. You just pull the piece up you want, after a while that crappy plywood's gonna be too full of holes to be functional, but then I'll just swap it out with another piece of crappy plywood. Uh, super effective. You drill into this back and put in LEDs that will make some of this stuff translucent and kind of glow inside the neck. And I might even recreate uh, a set of these that'll follow the cord through the whole neck and they basically won't function for anything, they won't be connected to anything uh, structural, but they'll be, so they'll give you a lot lighter material, and they can all be dolled up to have tubes and whatnot, because the more stuff I can kind of get in there, the more restricted the head oak might be able to get, so it'll have a real nice bend as it's doing its motion, we'll just be flopping, it'll just be kind of a smoother, and if I can hold it at a neutral position, and it'll stay somewhat straight. All right, so I just put that together. I have not filled with it. I figured if you stuck around this far, you should get the privilege of watching it win or lose right off the bat. So Get the neck in the body, do some test footage. Go ahead and I put the he rough head together, general shapes that I want. I'm dying to get this all put together so I can actually see it operate. I've been wanting to see this thing run for a couple years. I am on my way to work. I woke up running late, had to put this shot together to see it move. You can see how excited I am. The pure joy in my face is great. But that's the end of this episode, so I'm going to leave you with that, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Do your YouTube things on the bottom. I appreciate it.